Hello and welcome to another LEGO bootleg knockoff review. Today we're looking at the set number KF6093 containing figures KF1175 all the way to 1182. Starting left hand side we have Mark 50, 30, 39, 24, 85, 50, 46 and Rescue Armor so Pepper Potts. All these figures have a basic minifigure stand, you can see there, the KOPF, 4x4 plate and stuff. And then all of them have a bunch of accessories, they're all identical, just painted differently. All of them have this single blade that plugs directly into the arms, you've got to remove the minifigure to do, hand to do that. Uh, this gun thing, I just looked at the WM brand where it didn't have this peg underneath, but it still plugs on just fine. So I wonder if this peg is a little bit of an overkill. A printed shield piece, these ring set. Now these are detachable, uh, but uh, so far all these are pretty secure, so not as loose as some of the other bootlegs, I'm fine, but um, overall I'll probably still recommend just super gluing these down so they don't just drop off quite easily. Another arm blade attached to the side of the hand, as well as this tiny cannon that attaches to the side of the other hand, so that's pretty cool. Taking a closer look here, all of these are printed pretty nicely, all quite excellent. The lining is very detailed, the colouring is just like official LEGO, and yeah, there's no smudges on any of them. But when you remove the helmet, you can see that uh, oh, eye line is there, Tony Stark. Uh, a lot of these heads look like anime or manga versions of Tony Stark, and yet the screen versions and this one here is still just regular like Lego face and Pepper Pot's also just regular Lego face. So if you just buy this set, you can't really mix and match these figures because they all have a different style in terms of the faces. So keep the helmets on. It's a nice novelty. It's kind of cool to see, but a bit weird. Now, nice thing about these figures, just like the Shing Yuan Book of Iron Man, they have side torso print as well. The side arm print, the side leg print is also pretty decent. And so far, all of them seem to connect quite well to the front print, except this white one there. That one's slightly off centered. Look at the back, you see only one figure has a secondary face and because the other side is just fully blue, so I guess they figured, hey, let's give them a regular face without the, all the blue printing. Okay, fine. The detailing on the back of the bodies are, for the most part, pretty decent. Like the white one there and the brown ones are pretty good. On the left-hand side, it gets a little bit on the more simpler design, but overall, all of these have pretty decent back body prints and back leg prints. Quick look with the figure with these attachments attached to his arm. Looks fine. A uh, little bit hard to push on because they do have that little bump on there and the size is just a little bit on the tight side but once it goes on there it's fine because once these bulky things go on it's not gonna... it's gonna hinder the uh, minifigure sort of articulation so yeah. And here's a quick look at Pepper with uh, the shield and the wings attached to the back and you see here it is quite secure so that that's nice. So uh, right after I pull this brown bit off you can see uh, the plastic there kind of just like snapped and got stuck in there so I had to get a drill bit and just drill the extra plastic and then get a little pin and just like really just to dig it back out so that can happen with these arms so yeah that that sucks but you know this will probably still fit fine you know just like I said the, the inside peg is kind of unnecessary because the other brand ones uh, demonstrated perfectly without inside pegs but whatever the figures themselves the print job looks pretty excellent the clutch uh, aside from these uh, it's, uh, it's okay for the most part. The helmets are again a little bit on the tight side and the neck is a little bit on the loose side. Hip joints are also a little bit on the loose side as well. These arm cannon attachments also like to flap around so they're not like secure or tight, a bit loose. So uh, that could be a little bit annoying for some people but overall these figures still look great. And um, if you don't have the Book of Iron Man from Xing Yuan, these figures are still pretty good. And if you need a reminder, the Book of Iron Man, Xing Yuan stuff, or have side torso print as well, they're printed pretty much all the way around, so those are pretty good. The designs that they've chosen are also pretty nice as well. It's just overall, the quality control could be a little bit better, but overall, if you like Iron Man, you don't have these iron suits, they are okay. And as for these extra accessory pieces and stuff, these are pretty decent for the most part except for the terrible like arm clutch there hmm subscribe to justin come up below on the cost take care and have a nice day i'll see you guys soon bye bye now